Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. And you can see it's really bright and sunny today. Welcome to the Creative Inking Blog Hop. We are going to be concentrating on masculine cards. And I have to tell you, masculine cards are kind of one of my favorites. So I decided to whip out my whiskey business. Uh, my husband is a whiskey drinker and... You guys that know me, you know I love me an old fashioned, which also has a little bit of whiskey in it. So I'm going to be creating two really cool man cards for you using this fabulous stamp set. Let's flip the camera around. I'll show you the cards. I'll show you how to make them. And then at the end, you're gonna want to click on the link so you can hop along and see all the other masculine cards by the fabulous designers of the Creative Inking Blog Hop. Let's get started. Okay, here it is, Whiskey Business. I knew the minute I saw the stamp set in the catalog, it was a must have for me because I have some whiskey drinkers in my family. Now, no whiskey drinking problems, but just people that like the taste or flavor of whiskey. Steve, my husband, he likes Kessler's. And being from the Midwest, I am a fan of old fashions, but not just any old fashioned. I love Southern comfort old fashions. So of course, whiskey, old fashions, all right here, had to have it. Plus it's a man stamp set. You could make cards for women too, but it's a man stamp set and I love masculine cards. So this was a must have for me. I'm gonna show you all the stuff that we're gonna use to make. I've got two cards, cinnamon cider, Memento ink and Versamark. Then I've got white embossing powder, dimensionals and mini glue dots along with my paper snips. Take your pick tool, heat tool, and then some blends. Cinnamon cider is the perfect color for old fashions. It would also work for brandy. <laughs> I've got a color lifter. I've got both light and dark cinnamon cider. I've got light pool party, dark pumpkin pie, and dark mango melody. What a weird combination, right? Yeah. And then we're also gonna be using the opal rounds. And don't worry, I've almost used up this whole card, but I've got lots more. These are fantastic to make or use with cards, and I'm gonna show you why. And yeah, I've got cinnamon cider all over me too. I should have washed my hands. Last but not least is my piercing mat. This is a paper piercing mat. You can buy it in my online store. And um, I just cover it with some printer weight paper, tape it on there, and use this for my stamping surface. Now, if you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You're gonna find my blog right here where you'll find online ordering buttons. This is my current host code. Use that if your order's under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up and I definitely want you to have those. Also, we have a brand new catalog coming out, you guys, and it's coming soon. So, if you have placed a $50 order with me in the last six months, you're gonna get a new catalog. If you're brand new to me, request one, pop me an email, Take this off and put Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com and ask me for a catalog. Send me your address. I'd be happy to send you one. This is Basic Black, four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. And I forgot to tell you, bone folder, also included with our supplies today. And a paper trimmer to cut your stuff. Then I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock four by five and a quarter, a scrap, I'm sorry, it's called basic white, not whisper white, basic white, a scrap of basic white, a piece of our vellum cardstock. This is thicker than regular cardstock and I really love it for that reason. This is four by five and a quarter. And then we've got a piece of basic black that is one by four. So I think the first thing we're gonna do here is we are going to do a little bit of embossing. I'm going to get my embossing powder ready. And we are going to use the sentiment that says, sending you an old-fashioned birthday card. A little play on words there, right? I always like that. We're going to stamp it way over to the right side of our one-inch strip. Add some powder. 
That looks, oh my gosh, so good. The first time I stamped it when I was designing these cards, I stamped it crooked and had to do it again. You know, you know how it is. Let's close these up. We're gonna hit this with the heat tool. Whoops, this takes a bit. I'll be right back. Now we're gonna take our scrap of white and also we're gonna take this layer and we're going to use the largest rectangle, the stitched rectangle. We're gonna use the largest one. Oh, is this the right piece? No, I need another piece of white. Hang tight. Is this the same size? Yes, okay. You need two four by five and a quarter. Sorry about that. I'm going to die cut this. I'll be right back. And here we go. I love that stitched edge around here, and it's gonna give this such a really finished, classy look on the inside of our card. We're gonna do a little decorating on the inside here. I've got Cheers to You with Memento Black Ink. And then we're gonna stamp our glass, our old-fashioned glass. Lots of detail in this. The other thing we're gonna stamp is the, um, I don't know, I call this a brandy sifter, right? But we're putting whiskey in it today. <laughs> I've made an executive decision. There we go, and isn't that very, very cool? I love the look of that. It's got a lot of detail in it. Okay, now we need to do some coloring. So I'm gonna bring in my blends. Now, there's kind of an interesting way to color this to make it look really cool. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. I usually forget to zoom out, so it's a problem for me. I will try to remember to zoom this out. You guys help me. <laughs> I wish you could. Wish you could speak to me. Okay, first of all, I've got my pool party. This is the pool party light. I'm just going to add now where Stampin' Up! has put all these little shadow shading, I just kind of add a little bit of the light pool party to those areas. I'm gonna go around the outside of the glass because if you know anything about old fashions, the glasses or the tubs that you put them in are really usually pretty substantial, thick, nice thick glass. Okay, so we've got that done. Now we're gonna come over and we're gonna do our brandy sifter or whiskey. There's brandy old fashions, there's whiskey old fashions, there's all kinds of different old fashions. And I like my old fashioned with Southern Comfort. And I like it sweet, which is like the wash that they put in it. And I also like it with olives instead of all the fruit. But I will drink one with the fruit, don't worry. Yeah, I love old fashions. I think they're delightful. Okay, now this is also a very thick bottle to hold your booze in. <laughs> so I'm gonna give this some pool party all around the edges because that's really thick glass. That's what that is. And you wanna do your pool party first. And the reason is Every time I colored this, if I didn't do my pool party where I just left the glass clear, I always colored it with the color and then had to start over. So take my advice on that one. Next, I went to my light cinnamon cider. And there's a little bit of that stopper in, no, I'm sorry, cancel that, dark cinnamon cider. A Little bit of that stopper right there that you're gonna color. And then we're gonna go down here and start coloring that delicious liquid. <laughs> These and I like this, you know, not only is it called an old fashioned, but the whole car just ends up being old fashioned looking. And that's what I really like about this. My dad, rest his soul, he would have loved a card with an old fashioned on it. Like this would have been like, whoa, Kelly, you really outdid yourself. He would have loved that. Okay, so now you can see how I just made a bunch of weirdo lines all over. Oh, let's do this too. I'm gonna give this some dark. 
I'm going to color in the pool at the top. There we go. You want to leave that ice cube that's hanging out of the glass, you want to leave that clear. Okay, now this is where kind of the weird part comes in. I'm going to take my Mango Melody Dark. And I'm going to color this just like that. Very weird, right? I'm going to color these ice cubes that are in the old fashioned. Now I'm going to come in with some orange. This is our dark pumpkin pie. I'm just going to add some pumpkin in here, kind of around the edges. Leave this kind of the center of this yellow. Where the shading is on the ice cubes, I'm going to come back in with that pumpkin and add that shading. Kind of gross looking, right? <laughs> it's not very attractive. Okay, now I'm gonna come in and fill in with the light cinnamon cider and you just keep coloring it until it's blended nicely. to there. I'm just going to kind of fill in any areas that don't have any color yet also. So you're really kind of doing a lot of blendy things with this. Listen to me, blendy things. I'm sure that's a word, maybe not in anybody else's world, but ours. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now it's still it still looks rather juvenile, right? It looks like a child has colored it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back in with this mango, this dark mango melody, and I'm gonna blend this a little bit so that all those lines kind of bleed together. And look at how kind of cool that looks, right? I think I'm gonna need a little bit more dark on there. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Just color over the whole thing. It's gonna blend those sharp, edges on the, the colors and if you need to oh my goodness that looks glorious you can come back in and add just a little bit more dark in here I think I want this to be just a little bit richer and I think we're going to do the same thing in here Okay. Again, it looks pretty juvenile till you come back in and do the blending. And that takes away all those scribble marks. Wow, look at that. Isn't that spectacular? I love, love, love it. Okay. Got this zoomed back out. I remembered to do it, winning today. Now, we are going to take this layer and put it right inside our card. Oh, let's see if I can get some glue, there we go. Put this right inside our card. It's a little bit smaller than four by five and a quarter, but look at how classy that looks. I just love that look. And we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut this one out. Now, fussy cutting is not anything that really bothers me, but this, if you don't particularly care for fussy cutting, this is a pretty easy thing to cut out. It's not tricky, it's not hard, it doesn't like make you wanna poke your eyes out. <laughs> You're just gonna cut around it. Easy peasy. That's gonna be for the front. Now, this other four by five and a quarter inch layer, we're gonna take our Memento ink, and we are going to randomly stamp this all over this layer.
think I want just a little bit more something something right there. We're ready to assemble. Now, where did our vellum piece go? Right here. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this layer and we're gonna add it to our vellum. I'm going to put that right about here. Just wanna make sure you're getting it on there straight. Yep, it looks really good. And then we're gonna add some dimensionals to the back of our whiskey or Southern Comfort. Yeah. In the Midwest, we have supper clubs and supper clubs are a place to go out to eat that's just like no other. They have a certain style and a certain way of doing things and you always get like a bread basket and a relish tray and and there's lots of old fashioned served at, at um, at supper club, sorry. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, what is my word? Okay, I'm putting my glue behind my front elements. The other thing that I did is I did add a mini glue dot to the top corners, and I really couldn't see it through the front because I don't like that. I don't like to see the glue coming through, right? So that's why I like to add my adhesive behind the vellum. The bottom, you don't really need to worry about. We're gonna just add this. It's gonna completely cover up this layer. Isn't that cool just to mute that a little bit? And then we're gonna add it to the front of our card. And last but not least, isn't that cool? So what are we going to do with those opal rounds? Well, let me show you because I'm, I'm really excited about this. We're going to take the dark cinnamon cider. Oops, use the big end. And we're going to take these iridescent opal rounds and we're going to color them a nice rich cinnamon color. And we're going to add these to, whoops, I got that stuck on there now. Come on, you little bugger. There we go. We're gonna add these to our card front. I think I'll put one right up here. Take another one and add it right over there, wherever you would like to put them. Maybe one more. Well, I don't know, right here? Just so we have just a little bit of bling going on there. Yeah, isn't that a cool card? Cheers to you, sending you an old-fashioned birthday card. I love this. Now, I have one more card to show you. This one is gonna use a five and a half by eight and a half inch cinnamon cider card base. Because again, I just love this color for old-fashioned cards. <laughs> old fashions cards. We're gonna use um, a Whisper White four by five and a quarter, and I am going to stamp that right away with the straight up, you're the best in Memento Black ink. And then we've got this little wood type image. It's like just grains of wood. That's what I'm calling it. And my cinnamon cider ink. And I'm going to just stamp that right along the bottom of this layer. And don't get too crazy about overlapping those three because it looks pretty cool. I thought that was pretty simple. And last, we've got that little orange. This is an orange, like, I don't know, a zest, I guess. But old fashions have orange zest. And I'm gonna stamp that right there. Oh, I got some ink on my fingers, hang on. And then I'm gonna set that aside so that dries good before I do anything else there. Now, with the front here, we're gonna do kind of the same collage type stamping right on the card front. And again, you just want these to be very random. Right 
there. Then I'll do another one right there like that. Okay. Then we've got a little scrap here of the cinnamon cider. I am going to make a Father's Day card this time. So I am getting this done so early, right? <laughs> There's all kinds of sentiments in here. Straight up, you're the best. We use this one. Cheers to you, your top shelf. This could be a great thank you card for a man. And then being a dad is whiskey business. We're going to take this, this little short rectangle, and we're going to die cut that. So hang tight. Here comes that, okay? I've also got a piece of um, vellum, and this is three and a half by four and three quarters. You're gonna take your scrap of basic white and you're going to stamp your brandy sifter and also the old fashioned. Gonna stamp both of those. You're gonna color them in just like we did on the other card, and you're going to cut them out. Voila! And now we're going to start assembly. This is a quarter inch strip of basic black, and the thing that I wanted to do with this is I wanted to add this to the back of my sentiment, my rectangle sentiment, just for a little something. I think this is just kind of a neat way to add a little bit to your card without really doing anything too fancy. Look at that, isn't that just neat looking? I like that a lot. Okay, here comes our brandy or whiskey. I'm gonna add this right to our vellum. And I'm just gonna put that over here close to the side. I hope you can see the vellum here. Let's do this, now you can see the vellum. And then we're gonna take some dimensionals and we're gonna put those on our sentiment layer. And we're gonna put that right in the middle of this layer. So I'm just looking at my vellum and I'm trying to get this centered as best I can. And then where did our glass go? Right here, here is our beautiful glass of old fashioned. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna add it right down here in the corner. And now we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're going to add our adhesive behind our layers that are attached to the front. Oh my gosh, I just, I'm in love with these cards. I'm like so excited about them. Now we're gonna come in with that pumpkin blend and we're going to color in this orange zest or orange peel or it's called something I can't remember. I just drink these. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about all the details. That's kind of how I go through life. It's like, just tell me what I need to know. I don't want to hear the rest. <laughs> and I guess it works pretty good for me because I tend to be pretty happy. So you know how some people need to know all the ingredients in the delicious food? Not me. I'm like, ooh, that's good. I don't need to know anymore. Just give me some, give me another portion. <laughs> okay, there we go. And last but not least, we're gonna do the same thing with the opal rounds. Now you guys, don't forget, we've got the new catalog coming out. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, or maybe your demonstrator isn't active anymore, or whatever the case may be, I would love to send you one of those brand new catalogs. They're gonna be amazing, I just know it. Pop me an email. Okay, here it is. What do you guys think? Are these not fantastic man cards? They just reek masculinity, right? <laughs> now don't forget, this is part of a blog hop. First, you wanna click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't wanna miss anything I have coming out. 
You also want to click right up here. That's going to take you over to my blog where you're going to find a post about these cards. And then you're going to see a list or a little um, image that you can click on to join to hop along on the blog hop. All the cards today with the Creative Inking Design Team are going to be masculine themed. We all need those ideas, right? So make sure you click, click, head over there, go on the blog hop, see what everybody else made. And if you would like to order the Whiskey Business stamp set, you can head right over to my blog, use this host code. I always appreciate your orders. Thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Bye-bye.